Before this judgment, the former NSC had been granted bail on several occasions, but he has been in DSS custody since 2015 when he was first detained. This prompted him to file a suit seeking the enforcement of his rights. Dasuki had asked the court to order the DSS to release him after two and a half years in detention without trial. He also demanded five billion naira damages. But in her ruling, Justice Ijoma Oju granted the former NSA bill in the sum of 200 million naira and two shatis. I am hopeful and I'm praying and I'm pleading with the government to comply with the order of the court. After all, it is the same court they have referred the matters to. It is the same court that will try all the cases, be it arms, money laundry or whatever you. And it is only the court, as of today, that can jail or free. So if the very court you have applied to for punishment or for trial, you are not obeying the orders, then that may pose a moral problem in future. Because you can't ridicule my order and come to me for an indulgence. I hope it will not come to that. The Shatis, according to the judge, must not be lower than grade level 16 in the civil service. And if they are private citizens, they must have landed properties in Asukuru, Maitama, Utaku, or Gariki area of Abuja. None of these conditions worry the Sikis lawyers. Have a bread is better than nothing. We will make do with the conditions. We are grateful to God. Same applies to the Sikis brother, who is more concerned about compliance with the court order. We are very happy today that we have had the judgment of today. But what we are waiting for is the compliance of the judgment. Because five judgments were passed, but no compliance. So we hope this time the government will comply. And it will save Nigerians with, with the compliance. Each Shati is expected to pay 100 million naira as bail bond into the court's litigation account. The judge also scolded the DSS saying the agency has no power to detain anybody except on court orders. She therefore ordered that should the DSS want to interview the former NSA in the future, it must be done without detention and on working days.